Okay, so now let's get down to business on setting up our, our DNS, our domain uh, name servers. Um, basically what that means is, okay, we've, we've gone ahead, we've purchased our domain name over here at GoDaddy. So we have our .com, .org, or .net. And we purchased, think of it as a vehicle that we purchased over here. And now we got our hosting over here at HostGator, and this is where our domain name is actually going to live. So what we need to do is get our domain name from uh, GoDaddy and put it over here on HostGator so that we can work with it and set up WordPress. Uh, you will have gotten emails pertaining to your login credentials for HostGator as well as login credentials for your GoDaddy account. You're going to need them both to, to do these steps. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, over at HostGator, there's tutorials and everything that show you how to get into your account. I'm going to give you the, the down and dirty quick way to, to get in to your HostGator account. Um, now, if you go here and look up on the top of the screen here, um, newbiemarketonline.com was the very first domain name that I purchased uh, that I set over on HostGator. That is my primary login domain name regardless of the other domains that I have that's the one yours is going to be the same so whatever you signed up for whatever domain name you got put that in here with a slash cpanel and then over here you're gonna have down here the information your login name and your login password so refer to the email you got from HostGator so let's go ahead and log in here I'm gonna click away over here real quick okay so now we are in the back end or front end of our HostGator account. What, there's a lot in here and I'll be going through some of this as we progress through. But for now, all you need to know and be aware of for this section anyhow is um, getting some information that we're going to need for GoDaddy. And I'll, like I said, again, I'll go through some of this later. As you can see here, um, my primary domain name is here and if I click here you'll see there's a list of many other um, domains that I have this is think of this as my garage and I have a bunch of cars in here well I don't have the newest car that I just purchased which is the domain name over at GoDaddy so I want to put it here with the rest of my domain names or vehicles if you'll allow me to be so bold Scroll down here because what we're going to do is we're going to get our name servers. HostGator, these are basically computers or servers that um, your domains sit on. Every hosting company has them. There's two of them. You're going to copy and paste this very first um, name server here because you're going to need it over at uh, GoDaddy. Just remember it as you'll see one is to NS2283 and NS2284 once we have these copied let's go back over to HostGator now so we can tell GoDaddy to send our information over to HostGator log into your account using the information you received from GoDaddy go over here to domains down to domain management and click there now you're going to get in here and you're going to see all of the domains that you've purchased. You'll probably have one or two depending on what you've done. I'm going to go down here to my WordPress tutorial videos org because right now it's sitting over here on GoDaddy. So I'm going to click there in that box, go up here to name servers, click set name servers and it's going to show us right here uh, that I have a hosting account with these domains. It's basically saying it's parked here on GoDaddy. Well, I have specific name servers for my domains because I have I want these going to another place. And as you can see here, it has the domain name servers for GoDaddy. So I want to highlight that and paste in my HostGator name servers. Remember NS2283 and the other one we're going to paste in is going to be NS2284. So I'm going to put those in and now I'm telling GoDaddy to send my new car 
so to speak, or my domain name over to um, HostGator because that is where I'm going to be doing everything. So I go ahead and hit OK here. And what this is going to do, and it's going to take a while. It says here that it could take up to two hours, maybe even up to two days. Typically, it's done within, uh, I, I find that it's even done in less than two hours. Um, so you hit OK there. And basically, what that's going to do is it's going to send this information or the name servers, set them over here on um, my um, host gator so that um, I can go in here and then add this to my uh, account. Um, we're going to give this a while. As you can see, if I click in here, as you can see right now, it's not here, the new domain name, because we, actually, we have to actually go in and add the domain here in order for it to show up on our list. And that's what we're going to do next. So let's stay tuned for that next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.